promise that you'll never find another like me. All right, so if you don't already know, over the weekend, Scooter Braun's Ithaca Holdings announced that it acquired Scott Porchetta's Big Machine label group for an estimated $300 million. And with that came the entire six album catalog Taylor Swift released through Big Machine. Well, T Swift was horrified by it all. In a post to Tumblr, she wrote she learned about the deal as it was announced to the world, and that the situation brought her back to the incessant manipulative bullying she's received at Braun's hands for years. The pop star called it her worst case scenario and questioned Borchetta's loyalty, writing, never in my worst nightmares did I imagine the buyer would be Scooter. She signed off sad and grossed out. Naturally, other celebs have been chiming in. Here's what some of them have had to say. On Instagram, Yale Cohen Braun, the artist manager's wife, defended her husband and claimed that Taylor did know about the deal and declined to make a move to buy the catalog. She also turned the tables, writing, and girl, who are you to talk about bullying? The world has watched you collect and drop friends like wilted flowers. Justin Bieber, one of Braun's best known clients, sided with his manager and in a post wrote, for you to take it to social media and get people to hate on Scooter isn't fair. What were you trying to accomplish by posting that blog? Seems to me like it was to get sympathy. You also knew that in posting that, your fans would go and bully Scooter. And Braun's newest client, Demi Lovato, shared a story writing, I have dealt with bad people in this industry and Scooter is not one of them. Meanwhile, over on Twitter, several artists had T-Swift's back. Halsey wrote, she deserves to own the painstaking labor of her heart, adding, it turns my guts that no matter how much power or success a woman has in this life, you are still susceptible to someone coming along and making you feel powerless out of spite. It speaks volumes to how far we have to come in the music industry. Iggy Azalea weighed in on the news, tweeting, and this is why I'm so happy to own my master for this new album. They really do people crazy dirty on ownership of their intellectual property in the biz. And Borchetta himself responded with a post to Big Machine's website titled, So It's Time For Some Truth. In it, the record exec wrote he sent Taylor a text message prior to the news going public and that her dad was a shareholder in Big Machine Records LLC and was alerted. He even shared a photo of part of the new contract he claimed Taylor was offered before she left the label. Whew, this is getting crazy. Those are just a few of the many responses. For more and to stay up to date on this story, head to billboard.com. Until next time for Billboard News, it's your girl, Jordan Rowling.